And welcome back to the at Insider. My name is Bob Lowry. Her name is Emery Norwood. She is joining us tonight. Emery from the East St. Martin Softball Team. Thanks for coming on tonight here on GNAC Insider. Hi, thanks for having me. Second team all GNAC and GNAC all academic in 2019. You started in 32 games as a sophomore. You batted 337 with 29 hits, 23 runs scored and seven RBI. Again, you have already started this year, but when you look back on what you did last year, how are you going to be better this year? You know, I think it's just a matter of just keeping myself relaxed in the box. You know, freshman year, I really struggled with hitting. And that last year, I just told myself, stay relaxed. You know, when you get in the box, all you got to do is make contact. Good things will happen. So I think just, you know, maintaining that mentality and just trying to get even better, working even harder at practice and just striving for even better stats. Well, I tell you, you, you help the team get out of the gate strong. The Saints went 4-1 and one at the Desert Stinger down there in Las Vegas. What were some of your takeaways from that tournament overall and about the team in particular? What did you learn about the team at that tournament? Uh, yeah, I, this team is so special. It's it's one of the best teams I feel like we've had in a long time. And, you know, going 4-1 and one at that tournament against some pretty great teams, I feel like was just such a great accomplishment. And it, it only being our first weekend out and, you know, it's it's raining all the time here, so we don't get to be outside very often. So just seeing the, the talent and the just the drive that this team had to win, like, was just really inspiring. And I'm just excited for – this season I can hear it in your voice that you're excited and well you should be because (laughs) after the first week of the year or of the season I should say you lead the GNAC and run scored stolen bases you rank second in hits third in batting average and on base percentage as well so that gets back to the first question how are you going to be better this year you are by the numbers (laughs) itself playing better already this year you were named to the all-tournament team down there in Las Vegas. You batted 6-11, 11 hits, 9 runs, 2 doubles, 2 RBI, 4 walks, and 9 stolen bases. And again, I throw out a lot of numbers there just to say you're playing so extremely well to begin this year. Is that what it is, trying to maintain that consistency throughout the course of the campaign? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like as a leadoff, my my main job is get on base and run fast and good things will happen. So, yeah, just maintaining that consistency and just get on base. That's my job. You like do you like that do you like that spot in the in the lineup? I do. I didn't used to, but it's it's kind of growing on me. It's it's exciting. I love starting off the game and I'm a, I'm a picky hitter, so you know, just watching pitches, giving my team a good look at the pitcher and yeah, I I do like to start off the game now. You were prepped at Stadium High School there in Tacoma. Talk a little mm-hmm. bit about your softball career there. Were you, were you a leadoff hitter there too? I was. I was a leadoff hitter and a center fielder like I am now. What drew you to that particular position? I, I, again, as you say, generally your center fielder, probably if not the fastest, one of the fastest players on most softball teams. I think that's a, that's a mm-hmm. given. Leadoff hitter mm-hmm. has to have some speed as well. When did you realize you were fast and and that you were suited for that position and that uh, in the and that position in the lineup too? Uh, I guess I've always kind of been fast, you know. And I I was a right-handed hitter up until I was about 12 years old, and then. Somebody just told me, you know, you're fast, you're going to switch to the left side, you're going to slap, and that was just kind of the beginning of it all. I, I've been either the one hitter or the two hitter since then, and uh, once I transitioned out of the outfield, or out of the infield into outfield, it just kind of worked my way towards center, and that's just, that's where I feel at home now. You said something interesting that you went from a right-handed hitter to a left-handed hitter in the leadoff spot. Can you, in your mind, say that you can get from home plate to first faster as a left-handed batter than as a right-handed batter? I Yeah, I would say from the left side of the box, yes, especially being a stopper. You know, I kind of get that running start towards first, and I feel like it's definitely a game-changer being on that side of the plate. 
How hard was that transition for you? Um, it was difficult. I mean, at a young age, I feel like I I hadn't been in the softball world as long, and maybe my swing wasn't fully developed as a right-handed hitter. So moving to the left side was just, I mean, it's like learning a new position. Um, and so just working through it, working on it, practicing, getting individual work on my own time, stuff like that. What was it about St. Martin's that made you want to go to school there? Um, well, so I'm from Tacoma, pretty close to Lacey, and I knew I wanted to stay close to home. So once I started looking at schools and I found St. Martin's, just being the first time I stepped on the campus, I, I knew that this is where I was supposed to be. And I love the atmosphere here. I love the people. I love the campus. And I wanted to study uh, civil engineering, and we have a really well-respected engineering program here. So St. Martin's just gave me the opportunity to play softball and study engineering. and I couldn't be happier here. Now, civil engineering, uh, what draws you into that field, and and where do you see yourself with that degree? Uh, So I still haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to do with this degree yet, but I was fortunate enough throughout middle school and high school to be able to take woodshop and engineering classes and work with the computer programs, and that's where I really fell in love with it. And so just getting to study it in a more practical way here at college. I, I love everything I'm learning and everything I get to do every day at school. So, Talk what's coming up next for the Saints. Where do, where do you play next? And, and uh, talk a little bit about what you expect. So we have this next weekend off, and then the week after we head down to uh, Irvine, California, and we have doubleheaders against Azusa Pacific and Concordia Irvine. And after this past weekend, I'm really excited. I feel like we're going to come out pretty strong. You know, they're going to be tough competitors, but we just have to play our best version of softball. And I feel like I feel like we're going to compete. We're going to do really well. I'm excited. Well, you're out of the gate strong individually and as a team. Uh, congratulations for your, your all-tournament performance down there in Las Vegas. Uh, continued success to you. And again, as I say to all the student athletes here, continued success in your particular sport but also continued success in the classroom. That, that, that student-athlete equation is just so very, very important. But thanks for joining us tonight. Continued success, Emery, and I hope we have the opportunity to talk to you again on GNAC Insider sometime. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.